the fear of bacterial infections has led to the massive use of antibiotic drugs. This excessive use resulted in the resistance of many bacteria strains. Slowly, a major health crisis is developing. The problem has now led to a series of research activities in Europe whose aim is to reduce the risk of antibiotic resistance. The more we use antibiotics, the more antibiotic resistance develops, and that could mean that uh, as we go along, we have no uh, effective treatment for a lot of infections. To combat this problem, the European Commission supports the research project GRACE. 28 different academic groups have joined forces to fight the increase of antibiotic resistance. Well, Professor Goosens coordinates the GRACE project. At the University of Antwerp, the researchers are conducting a major clinical study. 1,000 samples have been taken for a detailed genetic analysis. So all the specimens from all over Europe are uh, sent to us and we analyze these uh, specimens from patients with respiratory tract infections with acute cough for the presence of uh, viruses and also bacteria. After identifying the infectious agents, the researchers examined whether the pathogens carry any kind of antibiotic resistance. The results are explicit. In those countries with more antibiotic use, more resistance was measured, especially in the southern and eastern part of Europe. To reduce the massive use of antibiotics, more health education is needed. In Belgium, for instance, a media campaign has had remarkable success. The use of antibiotics went down by 36% and antibiotic resistance decreased significantly. Furthermore, the development of rapid diagnostic tests and new antibiotics with a narrow spectrum is essential. GRACE is one cornerstone in the fight against antibiotic resistance. Through extensive clinical studies and basic research, scientists are optimistic that we will break the vicious cycle of antibiotic resistance.